what is going on? Governor Yukbazu has been speaking of leads. First, some days back he spoke about and give details of how Nigeria Army invaded Namdi Kano's house in 2017. Meanwhile, the court has been telling us that he jumps B, he jumps B. Whereas the Abia, Abia State uh, Judiciary or whatever vindicated the Namdi Kano that he never jumped B. The government was supposed to pay him 20 billion naira or so. And again, this man is talking. Governor Ikbazo orders headers others to vacate Abia Forest since he can't guarantee their safety. Oh, why are you guys talking? You huh? are not talking, saying what the people have been complaining about. Could it be because of the Owo incident in Undo State that happened that is making him to take a drastic action? Abia State Governor Ukeze Ikbazo on Sunday directed all headers, settlers and those residing inside the forest around Umunauchi local government area to vacate those places immediately. This directive was contained in a statement issued by the State Information Commissioner, Dr. Eze Chikanayo, stating that the directive was consequent upon the fact finding visits of the governor to the scene of the incessant kidnappings and killings in the Umenochi area of the state and interactive sessions he had been having with Umenochi leaders, stakeholders and security agencies. The governor also directed the state police commissioner and Umunachi youth to provide security along Ihube to Isochi Road, stretching, stretching from Ngodo through Lomara Junction all the way to Ihube. It would be recalled that the prelate of Methodist Church Nigeria, Samuel Uchi, was kidnapped alongside the Bishop of Oweri Dauces and the prelate's chaplain on Ihube, Leru Isochi Road. Road in Umunachi local government area, but I thought uh, they said uh, the governors are not a uh, they don't have a uh, power or they don't have a uh, what it takes to take care of the security of the country because uh, it is not a uh, in their rightful place. The federal government has the right to do that. So why is he giving order now? Why is it that they have not done all this? Why all this is all this? Why because they're always giving excuses for their lack of commitment. The victims were released after payment of a ransom of 100 million naira. The statement read, arising from the extensive interactive sessions which His Excellency Governor Okeze Victor Yukbazu has been having with the Umunochi leaders, stakeholders and security agencies, hereby directs as follows, that the Commissioner of Police Abia State alongside with the Umunochi Youth provide immediate security along the Hue Bay to Isochi Road, stretching from Ngodo through Lomara Junction all the way to Ihu Bay. Upon the implementation of the above directive, the governor directs the chairman of Umunochi local government area, Chief Ifani Madu, to open the road leading from Ihu Bay through Lomara Junction to Ngodo Isochi immediately. The Commissioner of Police, Abia State, has been mandated to draw up logistic requirements for mounting six additional checkpoints at strategic locations across the Umunochi local government area. Governor Ikwazu Victor hereby directs that all settlers, headers, and individuals residing inside the forest around Umunochi local government area vacate such locations with immediate effect. Governments can no longer guarantee the safety of any person or group found to be residing in the forest around Umunochi local government area. All cows and herders around Umunochi local government are hereby restricted strictly to the cattle market located at Umuchese until a final decision is reached concerning the menace in the cattle market. The leadership of the youth of a Umunochi local government area vigilante groups, hunters, and the Hausa community will continue to meet with the governor until an amicable solution is found to the incessant cases of insecurity in the area. His Excellency Governor Okeze Kwazu urges all parties to show restraints and circumception in their utterances and actions in order to maintain the peace and promote peaceful coexistence of all law-abiding citizens. Yes, this last uh, statement, if 
can only be accepted by the people. If you are taking action just like what he has said, I hope that they are going to follow the directive thoroughly. Then when you not tell people about peace, because you have already taken some actions, not that you tell people hey, live in harmony, live in peace, and yet you are not taking actions. Because I see no reason why you guys have not taken these decisions all this while. Could it be that the Owo massacre encouraged you people to do so? Or you think it is not going to come to you? Or you think you are well secured if you don't take the right actions? Southwest forests are already receiving them. Only animal lives in forests. The Southwest state should follow suit. I love the concluding part of the sentence. I can't guarantee your safety. Igbokwenu. Simply tell them to vacate Abia State because you can't endanger your people's lives with terrorists in form of hessmen. If the responsibility to protect lives and property is too much for our security agencies, then governments should allow citizens to defend themselves. Every autonomous community in Igbo land should register all their bike riders and use the opportunity to deregister the Fulani terrorists or Kada riders that have taken over the junctions leading to our villages exactly they are all over the place so not only even in lagos eh? hey, hey. oh my god they are occupying our land for attack you can't even guarantee guarantee their safety or that or the safety of your people is at stake first batch of esn has already been deployed in umunachi and okigwe as is any of the fulani seen in our bushes there is automatically a bush meat. It is time we stand up for the truth and not beating about the bush. ESN will do justice to them. That I know for sure. Enough of this uh, nonsense. Nobody will pursue us from the forest. Every Nigeria has an unalienable right <laughs> to choose where to live. To Governor Iguazu, we are not going to accede to your requests. Okay, now yeah, you wait and see now. They have told you that your guarantee is not your safety is not guaranteed. One of the S men is is here. Let ESN catch you, eh? You guys will collect Wotu Wotu. You will surely feel the effects of raw acid daily. You kill, maim, destroy farm products, and kidnap my people. The governor did not say you must leave. You can stay if you choose to. But then, your safety is not guaranteed. That's it. Your safety is not guaranteed. Now, you begin to hear the groups of uh, Molas or whatever, the Malam, because the Yoruba call they say Molan, they call them and one more line. All the region, all the northern groups, different, different ones, are what this coalition, that elders forum, this and that. You begin to hear them telling you that uh, they cannot live. Okay, the same thing that uh, Akere Dulu did to them. They think uh, everybody must stand. They let us know that we are faced with uh, the real world instead of a uh, parabolating, instead of a uh, pretending, try to be politically correct. And you're putting on a nice ways why your brothers lives they live like animals in the bush you're a shameless hypocrite uh sunny okay you don't even have right to be in someone's forest or land and still kill give that person headache it is not possible it's not possible i don't see any fault in his statements why is somebody really considered a nuisance still waiting for in an area that is seen as a weed Unless drastic and decisively matters are considered paramount, we can't say find the way forward. You can't guarantee their safety, or B, you can't guarantee your people's safety if they, the elders, strike. They will all wake up and hopefully not when it is too late. Posterity, however, we don't forget some of the decisions he had taken. Nice move. Equip the local vigilante to secure the area. Full and his esme have done so much harm to farmers and Nigerians as a whole. They should ranch their cattle and stop the practice of moving them from one place to another. The church massacre in Ondo is the highest mistake Fulani have made in their entire existence on earth. They forgot that the Yoruba are not a traders unlike Igbo who are everywhere in Nigeria. <clears throat> All Igbo should vacate popular Bayan, Gary, Market canoe and all other markets in the north because we can't guarantee their safety. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, guys, don't expect anything reasonable from people that uh, that wear this kind of cap. Boko Haram talking. Uh, thank God, Igbos are not in your first. Instead, inside your first, instead, they are living in your cities, paying rents and buying. Uh, buying and building so what are you saying 
no Igbo in your forest. He said those living in the forest, not markets, are the Igbos in Kano living in the forest. Why do you all have fish brains? Why is it that the only thing you think is terrorism? Now them, unknown, be unknown government bandits and Fulani Esme. Now them. Unfortunately, the way some Igbos even talk and be hearing all this, uh, what is it called? This, uh, all this unknown government is what baffles me. You don't know that some people are using your people to make pro trouble in your region. So guys, let's take your thoughts on this. Thank you.